Ohio uh, late game situations you've really been coming through, especially against Wisconsin. How much do you relish having the ball in your hands at that moment? Um, it's pretty cool. Um, it's fun. But I just felt like it's about the season, the moment when you get in that position. Like I said, it's falling into your preparation and the hard work you put in the gym. Countless of hours shooting the same shot. And um, I pretty much, that is what it is. Did it feel like a zone at all? Did you feel like something switched in there in the last five minutes of the game for you? Yeah, I mean, I knew the game was close and I knew we needed to make plays. And I just thought about all the, all the times, the close games we lost this year, Miami and Maryland. And I just said, oh, we got to close this game out. Rutgers get up and down. Uh, not a lot of threes from them. What kind of game do you expect out of Rutgers? A dog fight. I mean, it's gonna be a dog fight early in the morning. Um, they want to get. They, they like to get two point field goals. They want to drive it. They want to get in an offensive rebound, grit and grat. So it's gonna be a fun game. This is a unique game time, 11 o'clock. It's pretty early. How does that change the routine and, and preparation? Oh, we practice every day at 7 a.m., so no change. Uh, how important is it to string another one together here? I mean, you, you mentioned after the Wisconsin game to not have the letdown after you beat Purdue. To keep that going, how important is that for you guys? Big game. I mean, I'll say this is probably one of our biggest games of the season so far because we're riding on so much momentum and we finally, like, turned that corner and we have to just continue to do that against Rutgers. I mean, we got a great road win, but, I mean, it doesn't mean anything if we don't take care of our home court. What do you feel like maybe you guys did against Wisconsin? You know, after that Purdue win to keep it going and can you, I mean, is it something maybe you can do again? Yeah, I mean, playing hard, playing what we do hard defensively, not having letdowns, not coming out slow and not getting complacent. Is that a matter of just maturity as a team as you yeah. guys go together? Also leadership, you know, getting guys going early, getting them the layup line, getting a sweat in. Um, it's a lot of things that I feel like me as leader, I can help to make sure we're ready to play on Saturday. I know not only making that last shot, you had a lot of assists down the stretch as well. How have you kind of seen your game grow as, as a passer? Is that just kind of a, a better understanding of the offense and situation? I mean, yeah. Um, I feel like uh, my game has involved um, tremendously in that area. Um, I feel like I've always been a pretty good passer, but seeing the game better, seeing, you know, a lot of teams, they want to, like, um, load to me or, you know, to make me – um, forced to kick out to my teammates, and I mean, I, I truly believe my teammates making shots. So, just making the right play. That's just the type of person I am, making the right play at the the right time, and then it opened up everything else for me. Uh, the way you were operating that ball screen with Kofi rolling and shooters on the perimeter is that something you found there offensively? Or did that dictate based on scouting report, or, or what did you see there? Yeah, I mean, I was just coming off of it, just trying to be aggressive, and then you know, I just read how they play. If they drop back, you know, I either shot my pull up or I got to my floater. They came up, throw a lob. They played pretty even, hit the corners. I mean, it's basically like a read, like a quarterback, just reading how they playing. Uh, what do you like about that weave you guys do when things get a little stagnant? It seems like you guys get back to moving a little bit, and, and you and Trent kind of get into a rhythm. Yeah. I mean, it's just, like, like you said, when things get stagnant, it's, it's the best thing to do is move around, get your bodies around, flow, you know, get in the flow, um, drive, kick it. It just allows us to play our game. Um, more freely, allowed us to show our abilities much better. And um, yeah, then when you got guys who are making the right plays, it's all fun for everybody. What have you seen from Rutgers that allowed them to get out to this good start? Oh, they play tough. Um, they play with confidence. Um, one through 12, they confidently come in and try to produce. Um, they're a pretty good team. They're a solid team. Um, I'm up for the challenge, but like I said, we just take care of our home court and we'll be fine. Coming off a game with Wisconsin that's much slower in pace, largely because of how Wisconsin plays. Is a faster pace in a game with Rutgers, is that advantageous for you guys or would you like to keep it slower? Hey, we play fast, that's how we play. So we go play how we play and we go dictate our own tempo. We're not gonna get into how they play. However they play, that's how they play, but we play fast, so we go play how we play. There's been an emphasis on getting road wins, but how important is it to establish that Hey, you don't come in here and win as an opponent. I mean, I feel like that's more important. I feel like knowing that a team knows they come to State Farm Center is going to be hard to get a win. Um, that's how I feel like the identity we're trying to build. And um, that's the identity I think we're getting to that, that stage where you know when you come into the State Farm Center, it's going to be hard to come out here with a win. So that's pretty much what we're doing, taking it one game at a time, trying to protect the home court on Saturday. You guys are two of the top defensive teams in the conference. Rutgers is right up there in the country as well. Do you guys like that, that mindset, that kind of rock fight, throw your punches type game? Yeah, I mean, 
Um, I feel like that's how we play. So they go aggressive. Um, we aggressive. So it's gonna be a fun battle. Um, we'll get after each other.